Alrighty, so let's see. I guess we gotta break entrance into uh, this fortress so that we can keep moving on. Is that it? Oh god, that was a dumb idea. Wow, I could have died there if I landed, unfortunately, in that lava pool. Holy shit. Yep, okay, so we are finally on board, I guess. Yeah, it must be a completely different nether fortress over there. That That is too funny. What are the, the chances of spawning near one already slim enough, but to spawn near two separate nether fortresses, that's just something you don't really hear of happening. So that's, that's really cool. I have to say, that's probably one of the cooler things that's happened to me. It makes up for the fact that as soon as we found a uh, spider spawner, it got blown up by a fucking creeper. I think it makes up for that, and uh, that took a long time for me to say, because to be honest with you guys, I was really fucking pissed off that that had happened. Oh god, well here are the blaze that we have to kill. Come on. Oh shit. These guys like to drain your health rapidly, because they always they just put you on fire. It's like an instant two heart damage thing. Are you kidding me? Only one blaze rod from all of that? Well, still, one blaze rod does equal two blaze powder. I think, if, I, if I'm correct, I think we need 12 total. So we need to kill five more. We need five more blaze rod drops to move on with this. Okay. Yeah, iron armor makes this a lot easier. Last time when I used to do this, I had just, like, I didn't really know how to build armor. Because I was just kind of doing a solo let's play, and I didn't really care. And, you know, I, I wasn't really filming it, anything like that. I was just trying to have a fun time and play Minecraft. And uh, then I finally found out how to build armor and how much better it actually does for you. I never really thought it would make that much of a difference, but it really is like the deciding factor in things like this. Oh god, we're on fire now. Now, it's really cool that we have that wheat farm going. We don't have to necessarily die every five seconds, even though I just did right there. But it's nice that we don't have to always die. That way we can kind of store up XP, things like that, and uh, we can actually keep moving on with the game. So we have to head back over there to grab all of our items, because, I don't know about you guys, I am not interested in losing a full iron armor, as well as a uh, lot of iron equipment as well. Mmm. If you're wondering I just took a bite of, it's called a hot fry. They're really good kind of chip type things. Probably not healthy for you, though. But they're still good. And that's the only eating I'm going to be doing for this episode. I get so much nerve rage, I don't understand. Is it really that aggravating? Leave a comment. Is it aggravating if a commentator takes a bite of a snack or eats a snack during a gameplay? I'm not quite sure. I mean, me personally, gaming and eating just kind of go together. You know what I mean? If you're sitting down playing a game, it's just like kind of watching a movie. You know, you grab popcorn, you grab food, chips, whatever it is. You, you grab something. Oh, God, I'm going to die again. You know, you grab onto something, and uh, it's kind of like second nature, if you ask me. Like, that's just kind of what you do when you're doing something like of entertainment-wise. But apparently to some people, it's not what you do. And actually, a lot of commentators get a lot of uh, trouble for it, especially me as well. So I don't really know what you guys think. Just leave them below. I'm just curious. I won't start doing it, even if it's said, like people are saying, like, oh, I don't mind. I, st I, I won't do it, you know what I mean? But I'm just curious how many people actually feel that way. Oh, we got another blazer. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, we are almost dead. That was really close. That was really... Are they chasing me? Okay, come on. Oh, wow, that was a good shot. Come on. It's a good thing we have all these arrows, but how much damage does it do? Okay, so three arrows will kill them. One. Jeez, I, I can't wait to build an enchantment table and start using some of this large amount of XP that I have now. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go over there. Fuck, there's another one of these guys. Ah, we died again. That's alright, we're going to probably keep dying until we get enough of the blaze powder. And then I guess after that, it's going to be our mission to get a boat and just go as far out as possible and try and find other islands that are actually big enough to spawn endermen because we, we have to find enderpearls and there's no other way about it. Either that or we can build ourselves a mob spawner, which is actually probably more realistic if I did that. So maybe I'll look at the specifications for making a mob spawner and uh, I'll get on with that. Hmm, so let's see, let's see. Go right down here. Now apparently it looks like the blaze spawning area might be right over this ridge so that'd be pretty interesting if let's see no that's just random fire I thought for instance that it was that just because of all the fire I saw coming out of there and I thought that'd be really cool but it turned out it wasn't which I'm very sad about and uh, I'm gonna go cry to my mother no I'm just kidding I'm not that weird okay here we go now this is the main area we just died there there's all our stuff come on grab it grab it grab it grab it grab it grab it all grab it all grab it all okay good good fuck we're on fire fuck we're on fire fuck we're on fire yeah I'm gonna die here no. Ah, oh, we almost got away. At least we got some of our stuff and moved it further. So this is basically it's going to be me doing a dying montage, more or less, because that's all that's really happening. I just keep spawning in, dying, so on and so forth. But eventually, I am very certain that we will be able to get out of this void and uh, 
Hopefully survive to see another day. This is exactly why I want to enchant my armor or get full diamond, just because of situations like this where it's almost impossible really to get out of, you know what I mean? You're kind of stuck there. So let's go, let's go. Take a right. Oh, pigmen. I always get scared the pigmen are going to hit me, but I keep forgetting that it's only if you hit them. They're very peaceful mobs unless you hit them. Then they all turn on you and try and rip your skull out, which... I guess is normal. I understand that. I would want to rip your skull out too if it was uh, you hit one of my friends, but still, just kind of a little creepy. Ah, let's get this sword ready to go. Put that right there. Oh, did not mean to drop that pick. Give me that pick. Okay, perfect. Let's go over here. Kill some of these guys. Come on. Did they drop anything? No, I didn't drop a single thing. Oh well. Let's see what else we can find over here. Uh, no. Hey, an XP orb, but it's probably not worth it. Oh, I fell anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. Whoa. Okay. So how do we get the hell back up? I guess we gotta mine our way through this then. That was a dumb idea of mine. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, he lit me on fire. I'm gonna kill you anyway. Hey, drop the blaze thing. We only have to kill one more of these blazes and, or, you know, get a drop from one more blaze and then we are set, and we can finally leave this area and stop dying to blazes every five seconds. I'm pretty satisfied with the results of this, especially so far. I gotta say, this is the most progress we've ever made in such a short amount of time in this entire Let's Play. So, claps all around. We uh, got what we needed, and I guess I'm gonna go exploring to other islands then after this. Oh, God, he dropped one. He dropped one to kill that guy. Oh, we have an extra one in case something goes amok. So, there we go. Let's sprint the hell out of here. We're also level 5 now, which is pretty awesome. And I think the other cool part about this is that just by chance where we spawned, we spawned right near a soul sand patch, which I know is very popular around the nether. I'm not saying like, oh, it's so unpopular, you know, like, I, I realize that it's pretty much everywhere is like that, but it's still kind of nice just to have it right directly there as you spawn. That way, you know, whenever I want to build another clay soldier, I don't really have to go out of my way, just kind of teleport in, and uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, what is this? Oh, fence. That's what that was. Alrighty, so let's keep... I'm just going to dig up like that. Jump as we go along. Da -da ah, I hit the ceiling. I might get some glowstone as well, but I don't really think I have that much of a use for it. So I might. I, I think I'm just going to leave it as for now. And uh, then as time goes on, if it turns out I do need it, maybe I'll grab some. Alright, so let's mine this out here. Oh, wow. I should probably make a little bit of a better bridge here. Let's... Yeah, let's do that. That way, at least we have some kind of a uh, more connecting. What the fuck? Oh my god. Guests are after me. Fuck. Uh, fuck. I don't have any building blocks, do I? Soul Sand Netherrack. There we go, Netherrack. Holy fuck. Dumbass guests. I didn't even see the guy. Where is he? And my dog's even getting pissed off. My dog got mad at that. Jesus. Okay. So let's see, we are finally out of there, and we are back home. I'm going to put the blaze powder in the chest already, that way we don't lose it. And, uh, uh, let's make it into actual blaze powder. Hold on, one second, I'm just going to shut the door on my dog. There we go. At least now it won't be as loud of barking. Alright, so let's see, what else do we got here? I have a nice little thing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's start getting ready to build ourselves our amazing super motorboat. Uh, let's go right here. And I guess we can start cutting down some of those trees as well. Grab some more, uh, some wood resource. We do need as much wood as possible, because we're kind of running out. It's like wood, there's not much to use it on in this island, but it certainly still is valuable. You know, like, if you don't get it once every, like, 30 minutes, you're going to probably run out. But, I mean, it's still a long time, you know. It's, it's not that big a deal. Wood is not the main issue of this whole Let's Play, surprisingly. I thought wood would be the main problem, but it's actually not. To be honest with you guys, I've kind of hit minimal problems. And we do have another apple. I'm not just going to eat the apples straight out. I'm only going to use them for golden apples. That way I can kind of have a sufficient food source to fight off the ender dragon at the end. Because, I don't know, golden apples are probably your best bet. Either that or getting super golden apples. But those aren't out in this one. I think those might be coming out in the next one. Don't quote me. That's just like rumor I've heard. I don't know if it's true. But uh, what that'll do is actually give you tons of other bonuses like blast resistance, things of that nature, and it really does make a big difference. So I don't know if they're going to do it. I hope they do, but, you know, all just speculation. You can't really trust that that often. Let's see. Is the motorboat... I'm trying to... Oh, that's right. It takes... What was it? Redstone at the top, and I think 
I think I needed full uh, iron all the way around, actually. So let's... Oh, yeah, it's seven. And I think one redstone. I think that's how you build a motorboat. I'm trying to remember. I haven't I haven't done it since the first time. So let's see. 